Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Bailey and I'm an artist. And this video is just going to show you how to propagate an object along a surface inside of 3D Studio Max. So this thing can work when you have like a bunch of trees you want to spread across the ground. So let's get started. So what I got here is just a landscape. It's actually just a plane that I applied a noise modifier to. And over here I got my tree. And that's it. So it's real basic. So first thing you want to do is select your tree and then go over to the create and then down to compound objects and click on scatter. And what we can do here is click on pick distribution object under this and then just click on the ground. Now if you go over to your modify panel, you can see that we've got this scatter object. And what it's actually done here is you can see that Z fighting is it's created an instance of the ground for the scatter. We can delete that in a minute. So what we got here, I don't know if you can see, is this tree. Well, we only got one, so let's increase how many we want. Let's just make a whole bunch. Woo! Of course, the more you add, it may you may start to see some performance issues. 2,000, that'll do. But we got one problem. They're pointed in all kinds of different directions. So let's uncheck perpendicular. I want to be standing straight up. And I like there's some different distribution options. Area seems to work pretty well for this kind of thing. And I got a little camera set up here so we can kind of play around with what we want it to look like. So let's create a few more actually. Another thing you want to do is you don't want them all to necessarily be at the same rotation especially if you're only using a couple of different tree models. So if you like change the Z rotation, it's a little hard to see it on this cone. But you can see they're spinning a bit. And one thing I also like to do is adjust the, the vertical positioning of these. Now, one way to get around the fact that some of them are going to jump off the surface is you could have, if it has like a trunk, you can make the trunk extra large, like long, so it can kind of go through the ground. So let's just do something like that. And also the scaling. I'm going to lock aspect ratio, use maximum range, and turn this percentage up a bit so we can get different sized trees. <clears throat> and the last thing I want to mess with are the is the seed here so you can kind of click through this until you get something that looks interesting let's add some more of these too sure how about that okay now you don't have to collapse this but i like to so if you right click on this go to editable poly and I'm going to open up the element here and I'm just going to click on the plane that it created and I'm going to delete it. Okay. Now with this selected, I'm just going to move these down a bit, move them in and let's do a little render. It's pretty basic, obviously it doesn't look good, but you get the idea. And I've done this kind of thing a number of times in the past. I actually made this in a different 3D package, but the principle is the same. There was no way in hell I was going to place all these trees by hand. So I actually just use the same principle. And if you have a lot of trees, I suggest maybe making them billboards instead of actual geometry, because the more vertices you have, the slower it will be to process. All right, that's it, guys. Have fun, and I'll see you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to give me a like below, and if you want to subscribe, that'd be pretty cool.